Hi there, my fine friends of YouTube. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I live, travel, and game out of my van. If you've been following me for quite a while, you would know that I haven't posted in two weeks, and there's a good reason for that, okay? And that's because I've been redoing my entire electrical system in my van. I've been upgrading from AGM batteries to lithium batteries to better assist my van life gaming experience. And it's been taking up a lot of my mental space because I have literally had to rip out the entirety of my garage space, my bedding, to get to my batteries, replace everything. It's a freaking headache. So I've, a lot of my time has been spent doing that. And thankfully I have some friends that have been letting me park in their driveway and use their facilities while I do all of this. And today, my friends, that electrical redo and revamp is complete. So tonight, we're celebrating, okay? And not only are we celebrating, but I wanted to thank my friends here for letting me use their facilities and use their driveway. So I wanted to make them a fancy little dinner, okay? So that's what we're gonna do tonight. And the dinner plate of choice, you might be asking? I'm thinking, uh, some sushi. <laughs> you know, in my past, I've made sushi with like imitation crab meat, nothing fancy. But tonight, I wanna do the real deal. I wanted some real fish in my sushi. So earlier today, I went to H Mart, which is an Asian market right outside of Atlanta, and I stocked up on the supplies to make some genuine, delicious, fancy sushi. So right after my H Mart trip, I ended up making my sushi rice right away because in order to make good sushi, you need to have cooled, cooked, and readily made sushi rice. I used three cups of Japanese short grain sushi rice with three cups and three quarters of water. And while that was boiling and cooking up, I made my rice vinegar mixture. And I used non-seasoned rice vinegar with sugar and salt and boiled that until the sugar and salt dissolved. And once the sushi rice was done, I mixed the rice vinegar mixture into the sushi rice really well, folding it on top of itself, and then placed it in the refrigerator to cool for tonight. And now it's about 8 p.m. and we are ready to make some sushi, baby. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? Millie, what are you doing? What are you doing laying on my brand new mattress from rvmattress.com? You know you're not supposed to be doing that. They sent me this mattress so I could lay on it. I bet you knew this video was sponsored by them, huh? And you just wanted to steal the show and get up on the bed so you'd be in the video, huh? Not gonna lie, that's pretty smart. And I can't blame you because this bed is actually really freaking comfortable. For those of you that don't know who RV Mattress is, they are known for their top of the line quality and comfort mattresses that are made right here in the US. So if you live in a van, RV, or a house and you're in the market for a new mattress for your bedroom, I highly recommend you check them out because not only are their products made right here in the US, but they offer free shipping, which is pretty freaking great when you're pinching pennies and gas is $7 a gallon. RV Mattress makes finding a comfortable yet very fitting mattress for your van easy by offering several different firmness options, heights, dimensions to make sure you get the perfect mattress for your van, RV, or even your house. And in my van, I designed my bed area to fit a full-sized mattress. So I went with the Brooklyn Wanderlust mattress, which is great for people that love a firm to medium firm sleep experience. And honestly, I can't believe how well it fits in my van and how comfortable it is to sleep on. 
I genuinely feel like I've been having longer and deeper sleep ever since I upgraded to this mattress and it really has been one of the best upgrades I've made in my van so far. And if it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried, Brooklyn Bedding has a 120 night sleep trial so you'll get more than three months to make sure that you'll love it and if you don't, you'll get a full refund. So if you're looking for a mattress upgrade for your van, RV, or even your house, I highly recommend you check out rvmattress.com slash the fine print. But don't forget to use my code of the fine print at checkout to get 20% off your order. But now let's get back to the sushi shenanigans. So now that my sushi rice is cooled off and ready to go, I'm gonna pull it off. <laughs> Let me test the sushi rice. Ooh, girl! It sure do smell good. Oh my gosh. Let me get a little. Let me get a little. Ooh, it's sticky. Mmm, girl. Okay, okay. All right. Now I am going to prepare the rest of the sushi cylinders. And today I'm going to do a pretty basic sushi. We're going to do some salmon, some avocados, some cream cheese, and some nori. I actually ended up buying this bamboo roller for sushi, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I've always wanted one of these bad boys because they look so cool in restaurants when they're like... You know what I'm talking about? Am I, is it just me? Or I th probably, it's just me. So here's what we need to do. Okay, our ingredients are laid out. Now we need to get a bowl of water because this rice right here is sticky, okay? It'll be sticking to your fingers. It'll be sticking to your hair, your eyebrows. You, be, you gotta be careful, girl, because the way this is mixed up, it's sticky. So we're gonna place one nori boy down on the platter. We are going to wet our fingers, our flanges, and we are going to grab some of the sushi rice and place it on the nori, spread it out like so. Oh wait, I forgot to cut the sushi. Freak. All right, so first up, we need to cut the, the salmon, okay? We need to have the ingredients ready to be assembled, okay? So we've got to cut everything up. I, I got some premium grade sashimi salmon straight from the market. It looks beautiful. Look at that cut. Oh my goodness gracious, girl. So we are going to slice and dice this as much as we can, just like so. Make some long boy pieces. Smell a little fishy. That's okay though, that's the point. It's supposed, to, it's fish. It's supposed to smell like fish. We're gonna cut some more avocado right here and uh, get that ready for slicing and dicing. Ah! Oh! Okay, we got the avocado cut up and the salmon cut up. Now it's time to cut up the cream cheese. Just like this. I'm about to cut my fingers, I already know it. Oh, freak. that was close. This is a freaking mess. All right, that's ready. We're gonna move this off to the side. We're gonna move this off to this side. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> Where did my bamboo roller go? Where did it go? How do I lose so much stuff in this freaking van? All right, here is our bamboo roller with our nori and sushi rice from earlier. We're gonna wet our fingers again. We're gonna grab some more rice. We're gonna spread it evenly on the nori. I wanna try to leave a little lip here so when I roll this, that lip can like glue onto the roll, you know, so it keeps the roll together, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think I did a killer job on this rice here because it is really freaking sticky. All right, first roll is riced up, ready to go. Now I'm going to place a slither of salmon. We're gonna place it right there. We're gonna do some avocado, and we're gonna do a, a line, a line of cream cheese. Oh, it glued together, freak. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. I already freaking know it. All right, now we roll it. I've never used one of these bamboo rollers before, so this is gonna be interesting. Just like this, maybe? Oh, okay, that is a nice cylinder boy right there. Oh my gosh, he's thick. Okay, one roll down, one more to, or five more to go. <laughs> we're gonna do, wait, where'd our salmon go? Oh, it's right here, okay. okay. Salmon, we're gonna add some avocado, some cream cheese. We're adding some cream cheese, okay? 
And now we roll. You know, I don't quite understand how this 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 roller works at all because it kind of like folds on itself. That is beautiful. And that is roll number two. Dang, that's a freaking thick boy. All right, two down. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four more to go. Woo! Girl, okay, I am on sushi roll number two, four, six, seven, and I am exhausted. I don't know how people do this for a living. I've got two more to go, but I'm almost done. And I am really excited because these are some thick boys and I can't wait to cut them up and uh, present them to the rest of the boys. It's gonna be great, I'm excited. Guys, I need you to all know that I literally have no freaking idea what I'm doing here, I'm kind of just winging it. And uh, you know, that's kind of, you know, how you have to do life sometimes. Life is about all about winging it. And that's what we're doing here on this YouTube channel, okay? I'm gonna be honest right now. I'm very in my head. I'm saying that this video is not good and I should stop filming. But guess what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to continue to film despite what my conscience is telling me, that this video sucks. Finally, the last roll, and then we can get to cutting. These are the biggest sushi rolls I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. <laughs> ah, okay, eight sushi rolls right here in the flesh. Look at this mound of deliciousness. We've got some salmon, we've got cream cheese, we've got avocado, we've got nori and sushi rice. Now, it's time to cut it up and present it to the boys. I'm gonna try my best to make this as presentable as possible on this one cutting board, but I highly doubt that that's gonna happen. Okay, okay, so far so good. Hold on, let's see the cross section here. Oh, okay, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it looks pretty all right. I may have overdone it on the cream cheese. I am a chef. Okay, I am a chef. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about the presentation anymore. I just need everyone to know that I made sushi in my van and that's pretty cool in itself, okay? Oh my goodness gracious. This looks absolutely ridiculous. We've got circles of sushi. So today I bought this medium sweet soy sauce, which is just like a sweet soy. I mean, who doesn't love sweet soy? So I'm going to try to drizzle it on top, or no, I should do it in the middle, shouldn't I? Okay, so I got these sauce cups from inside, freak. And I'm going to put them in the middle, and I'm gonna put the sweet soy inside. So you can dip your sushi slices into. I think that's it. Girl, okay, okay, we are about to present this delicious sushi platter to the guys inside the house as a token of thanks. To let them know that I'm very thankful for them allowing me to use their facilities, their house, and their driveway while I redo my electrical system in my van. But uh, unfortunately, they don't wanna be on video, so I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna go eat with them, hang out with them a bit, and uh, we're gonna enjoy this sushi and then I'll come back inside and maybe we'll play some video games or something. I don't know. So, peace. Good morning, my fine friends of YouTube. It is the next morning after a wild, wild night hanging with the boys. Uh, we sat around, we ate some sushi, had a few drinks, played some board games. It was a great night. I wish you were there. It would have been even cooler. But you weren't, so now we're here. Millie, what are you growling at? Oh, hi. Yo. You about to leave? Oh. That was Christian. But yeah, it was, uh, it was quite the night. It was a blast. It really was. But when I woke up this morning, I realized that last night I never closed out the video and it just kind of abruptly ended. <laughs> but I woke up to a package from Asus, 
And uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm actually sponsored by Asus, which is cool. And we've got a lot of great things coming to you this year, me and Asus. But uh, they sent me a random package and I figured, you know what? This might be a great way to end this video by opening a secret mystery box. So that's what we're gonna do. I literally have no idea what's in this box. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but uh, we're gonna go on this adventure together. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna grab this knife that I forged myself over a year ago. It's actually pretty cool. I went to a blacksmithing class, forged my own knife. It was pretty cool. I only use it for cutting boxes though. So are you guys ready for this? Hold on, let me get a sip of my tea. The moment of truth, what is in the box? What's in the box? Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This is a bunch of new gear. What the freak? Okay, so I've got some new ROG headphones. Oh, a freaking mouse. Oh. <laughs> okay, so many of you guys in the comments have been telling me to get a smaller keyboard. Well, I got one, baby. It's right here. Wow, this is a really, really small keyboard. <gasps> this is a new mouse pad! Wow, would you look at that? <laughs> that looks beautiful. Hey, Millie, come inside. Bring the bone, bring your bone. That is mucho betteramo. <laughs> what? What did I even just say? Wow, that feels good. Yes, finally a wireless mouse. This is awesome. The problem with being a van life influencer is that you get packages all the time like this and it produces so much trash. And you know, in a normal house, you've got a big giant trash can out front that you can throw it all in. Thankfully, I'm at my friend's house, so it's not a big deal. But if I were like out in the middle of the desert, my van would be filled with all this trash until I go throw it away somewhere. So yeah, just a little fun bit of knowledge there. If you're ever considering van life, that's one little bit of a hurdle. Holy crap, it's so tiny. Oh my gosh, listen. In comparison to my Black Widow, this has so much more life. Hold on, can we just like admire the size difference here? This is my Razer Black Widow and this is the ROG Falcon or Falcion, I don't know how to pronounce it. That's insane and that's gonna give me so much more desk space. <gasps> Bro. Bro. Okay, now it's time for the grand finale, which is the mouse pad. I'm predicting that this mouse pad looks pretty daggum cool. <gasps> Ooh, that is nice. Ah, I'm gonna be so ROG'd out, dude. I'm gonna look so sponsored. I'm going to look like I'm sponsored. <sighs> oh, this is so sick. Oh, this feels good. I have so much more room for activities. I'm going to let this mouse charge because um, it's a little dead, but uh, it feels really good. The keyboard feels really good. It sounds really good. It's satisfying to press. All right. Well, I'm going to play some WoW for the rest of the day and probably the rest of my life. So I'm going to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, maybe I'll see you next week. I don't know. Maybe I won't. <laughs>